Okay, part two after completing the truth table is to create the K-maps for each individual LED light in your seven segment display. So every LED has to know when it's going to turn on or off. So we're no longer looking at the outputs kind of in rows. We're looking at one individual LED. Okay, so LED A simply has to know when it's on or off based on these input combinations of X, Y, and Z. Okay, so we're going to create a K-map for LED A. All right, we're going to have, because we have three inputs, we're going to have the first two, X and Y, on rows, and we're going to have four rows, and then we will have two columns for the third Z. Okay, the pattern with the knots is not, not, not the first three, and then something, 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 not. And then here it's not something. Okay, so now basically every cell matches up with one of these combinations. So a zero is a, for one of our inputs, is the not. So that's a not x. This is a not y, not z, as opposed to say maybe here. This is not x, y, not z. So that specific combination maps to one of these eight cells, and then inside that cell we'll put the output for LED A, a one or a zero. Okay, so the first is not, 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 is right here, and that's a one. Okay, the next one is not, not, z, so not, not, and then z, and that output is a one. The third one is not x, y, not x, y, not z, not z is in this column, and that's a zero. Okay, the fourth row is not x, y, not x, y, z, and the output is a zero. Then I have x, not y, right here, x, not y, not z. This is the not z column and the output is a one. Then I have x not y and z, output zero. Then I have x y not z, output is a one. And the last one should be right here is an output of one. Okay, so we've got our K-map. You're gonna go through and complete a K-map for every single LED in the seven segment display. So your next K-map will be for LED B. And you'll repeat, right? X, Y, X, Y, X, Y. So I'm not gonna go through and do all these for the video since I've done one and we've already covered how to K-map. But for the project, I just want you to see that you're gonna have seven K-maps, not, 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 Okay, and you're going to go through and fill that in. Okay, so that'll complete, when you've done that, that'll complete step two. Um, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and just show, though, step three, writing the sum of products for all these segments really just comes from really kind of finishing the K-map. So now we're gonna go through and look for the most efficient way to group and kind of capture all of the ones. So let's see, I'm seeing that this one, the only way to group that is to go to the left. I can't go up, right? But that gets those two. And then I've got to capture um, this one, right? And it can be grouped here. And then I've got this one, and I kind of have a choice. Um, I don't want it to be a single if it can be grouped. I can either go up to this one, or I can kind of wrap down to that one. So just because it's easier to draw, I think I'll do that. All right, so each of these gives me a product. 
So what I do is I look at what do these ones in a grouping have in common. So these both share a not Z. And then looking to the left, they both share X, but the Y's are different. This one has a Y and that has a not Y. So that's not in common, so that cancels out. So I really just have X, not Z. Okay. So then or, these two ones, anytime you have an entire row or an entire column, it's just the header of that row or column. So these of course share X, Y. They're in the same row and they've covered the whole row so they've canceled out any, they can't have anything in common if they've covered all the columns. So this one is just X, Y or the last one Again, it's an entire row, so it should be not x, not y. Right? They don't share the z value. One's got a not z, the other one has a z, so they don't share that, but they do share the same not x, not y. So for LED A, this is the sum of our products, and that's it. All right? So you're going to go through, and after you complete each K map, you'll then group your ones. Remember to get the least number of groups and the largest number of groups that you can while still capturing every single one. Um, if a one happens to be in more than one group, that's okay, but that is not needed. So that's only you only do that when it's helping you create a bigger group. Okay, And then you will have, if you complete that, you will also have step three completed as well.